It's Joel Gass here. Today, I'm going to tell you guys how to get Spinboard for 3.0. Yep, this is Spinboard, guys. Now, some of you may have known Spinboard for the 2.0 firmwares. It was actually in development, and it got leaked in the beta mode. So the developer was like an asshole and stopped developing it because, you know, it got leaked in the beta, so we just stopped developing it in 2.2.1 which pissed a lot of people off, so they was never brought to 3.0 firmware. And just recently, either he started developing again, or someone took the what he already developed and, and written it for 3.0, and rewritten some stuff and modified it so it's available for 3.0. But bottom line is, guys, Spinboard is now for 3.0, and I'm going to show you how to get it. And it is 9909, so the new iPod Touch and the new Nano was released. I haven't made any videos of this because you guys don't need it. I mean, it's already all over YouTube, and it hasn't even, and it was just released today, and there's already hundreds of videos about it. So why should I make one? Um, you know, the new iPod Nano has a camera, all that good stuff, whatever. So let's get in with the tutorial. So I'm going to show you how to get Spinboard for 3.0. Now this is all through your iPod. You don't have to know how to SSH, put any files in any places. Just open up your iPod. Make sure you have it jailbroken. Alright, so you want to go on Cydia. Once you have Cydia opened up, you want to hit on Manage, Sources, Edit, and Add. The source you want to add is repo.packager spelt that wrong guys packager repo dot com spelt that wrong again but I'll have that link in the description so it's repo dot packager repo dot com also in the description as well now guys this isn't just a source that you're gonna say oh let me add it download spin board and delete the source this is a really great source that I've actually um Apple Hacker Mac the Geek and I made together and it's pretty much going to have all this type of stuff on it, like all these cool cracks and cracks for City Store app. So it's going to be a source you're going to like. You go on the Packager repo. You should scroll down until you see in the S section something called Spinboard 3.0. Click on it. You know, it just says your Spinboard is now out for 3.0. Just give you the description. As you can see, the version 1.0 underscore beta. This is a little buggy, guys. I mean, it's nothing that's going to crash your iPhone or anything like that, but it's not very stable. Like, sometimes, if you have your iPod unlocked and it's being shaked, it'll rotate. It's a little buggy like that, but what are you going to do? It's at least for 3.0, so install it and test it out. Now, for those of you who have no idea what Spinboard is, I'm going to show you a little demonstration. For the 2.2.1, you could just simply rotate your iPhone to any side you want the icons to rotate to, and it will do it. For the 3.0, you have to shake your iPhone first and choose where you want to rotate to. So I'll press Command um, T to rotate it, shake my iPhone, and turn the icons to that side. So shake it, and then I'll turn. So first I put it on the side I want to shake it as. And then I shake it, and look at that, the icons, oh, what the hell, <laughs> sorry, this is beta, really beta-ish, but it works, um, alright, I can't, I can't demonstrate it, guys, for some reason, once I try to demonstrate it, it screws up, it's been working fine, so just shake your iPhone, and turn it around, stuff like that, and it should work. As you can see, the icons are switching around, and it gets this glitch where it actually reverses itself but doesn't turn. I could shake it, and then it'll sort of restart, but you know, there's nothing much you could do. So that's Spinboard for 3.0, guys. I'm sorry if this was a fail, but whatever. Um, uh, Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a nice day.